have you heard about the new conspiracy um, conservative censorship situation <laughs> this is a big one you know alex jones was banned by everyone yep other people have lost whole accounts stefan molyneux oh god yeah i saw this he was banned by mailchimp yeah fucking mailchimp <laughs> based off a tweet like one of those um and they came back a few hours later and went yeah we got rid of him yeah yeah he's, he's a white nationalist he believes in eugenics and stuff and they were just like oh yeah we've deleted it because that's what we're doing now like fucking soviet russia gonna be honest okay i i don't believe this is a censorship thing because it's a service provider it's not a platform it's not a place you it's just <coughs> excuse me one of a million companies that do email provisioning mm. mass email marketing if I had a business that wasn't a platform, it was just a service business with a large user base, and someone said, this guy uses it, watch one of his videos, and you go, oh, <laughs> oh, he's not going to be good for business. Yeah. I, I get why, a company. I get it, yeah. But here's the thing, I might not agree. Now, me personally, I might go, oh, I don't give a fuck, you just sent an email. When he breaks the law, get back to me. But on the flip side, and someone pulled me up because I made a joke. I said, look at all these people that were just about to use MailChimp mm. and have now decided not to. Bollocks. They're all on Twitter, aren't they? I'm an IT expert and I'm now not going to use MailChimp. Um, but the way I see it, if you're one of these people, as I am, that supports the idea that a baker shouldn't have to make a cake for a gay wedding if they don't want to. And I agree with that. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah. You have to, therefore, accept that MailChimp cannot deal with you. Yeah. And it's just tough shit. Now, one guy came back, because obviously what people like to do with inconvenient truths like that is redraw the rules a little. Well, that's fine for a small business, but not for a larger business. And I'm like, well, what's the difference? Mm. Well, corporations shouldn't be allowed to choose that. Well, why? Why? I mean, it's uncomfortable. We don't like it. It's not good. No, 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 no. But they should be able but to. But yeah, if, if, if a yeah. baker can refuse and rightly refuse, say, I don't want anything to do with it. I'm sorry, I don't approve of your lifestyle. You know, I don't think you should be stoned to death or anything. I just don't approve and I don't want anything to do with it. Mm. Be happy. There's a shop down there. Finished. Finished. MailChimp have just done that to Stefan Molyneux. Yeah. Now, what made it easier is that Stefan Molyneux is the grade A fucking awful, awful guy. But he's got a lot of followers who I sincerely suspect are mostly incels. A lot of them probably fuck their own pillows. Those kind of guys. Because um, you, you, you've seen the stuff. <laughs> yeah, your kind of guy. I was trying to imagine that then. I'd probably use two. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fold one in half? No, then you can keep a dry one for I sleeping. I don't want to be doing maintenance. Get one of them lollicon pillows. Oh no, I've got I've got that with here. We've got about fucking eight, nine pillows on the bed at the moment. Oh, no. me off. I'm lying like that. <laughs> I'll get in bed and I'm like, night no, dear. And it's like it's fucking ridiculous. But last um, well, thing, Stefan Molyneux. I mean, I I read through some of his posts. I've been aware of him vaguely over the years. I just put him down as another, basically another prick oh, on the internet. A very popular one. Who's he's very unsavoury. Like his wife's uh, a psychologist. And um, while she's talking to patients in the house, he'll whisper things down the fucking vent system and stuff to give them advice. And he was pulled for it. She got in trouble for it. Because the guy's not right. Mm, you know, he's I, not right. He, the one that tells like actresses, they go, oh, I don't really want to have a child until I'm in my mid 30s. How many eggs will you have left? What the fuck, you the, creepy the bastard? Thing is, though, like, yeah, he is creepy and he is thingy, but he's, I, I don't think he's a white nationalist Nazi. He's not a white supremacist, I don't think. Like, mm, I, like, I'm, I'm I, not. I'm I not. I mean, well, like, like he's. I think like, he's got a touch of it. The problem is. I don't think he's full blown. I mean, yeah, he has been there saying, like, um. Black people are stupid. He's like, well, yeah, but but the problem is though, when he talks about IQ, and I've I've seen this because I watched because I remember we talked about it before. When I watched it, he didn't say like white people are the cleverest. He said what he said white people are in the middle yeah. on average, and it, and that's not and that's not. That's, but no, it, it that's is. But it is IQ the case results, of it? leaning more on genetics and ignoring everything else. And we mm. we know what he does. Yeah, we know what he is. But, I think I'm not here to defend him or hang him. I'm not yeah. here to defend him or hang him. He says enough dreadful shit all on his own without me having to do anything. And no one gives a fuck what I say anyway. But the fact is, MailChimp don't want to do business with him. Yeah. It's as simple as that. It's not a censorship issue. It's not like 
you know, you could make the argument about Twitter and YouTube being the new public square and maybe there should be more responsibility, especially for fucking Facebook at the minute. Twitter are making a lot of the right noises at the moment. Mm. For example, they're now offering their paedophile users <laughs> an encrypted chat coming up so they don't have to do that Dropbox. Yeah. Just send it through the chat. No one will ever know. Twitter look after the paedophile users, but they're also going decentralized. Mm. Probably to make it harder to track the paedophiles. They are they're going they're going right off, aren't they? Well like, they've just hired a team, a small team, yeah, to work on making it a decentralized platform that Twitter is a customer of. So there'll be Twitter and all these other fucking million basically um Mastodon. Yeah, yeah, it's but it's but made by Twitter. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's all it's going to be. Um, Which is good in the long run. It is, it yeah. I mean, I, it'll be really good for the pedos and the zoo files and the yeah. necrophiles. I'm sure will be very happy. And it gives Jack a chance to go. Oh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> that's what he really wants He's to do. Creating his little escape shaft. Yeah, that's he? all. It is. That's He's his escape pod. <laughs> you like that bit at the beginning of Star Wars? Like, yeah. Shh. What about this? Like nothing to be, guys. Later. <laughs> it's decentralized now, mate. Whereas Mark Zuckerberg now.